Hey there, Golfs and Golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf in Marilsen, South Carolina. And I want to talk to you today about back pain, leg pain, hip pain. What causes pain to occur from golf? And it's a really big question, broad question. We'll try and tackle everything in this video. And I just want to let you know that the focus of my swing, a little background on me and why I'm teaching a body friendly swing is because I experienced back pain at the age of 18 from repeatedly playing golf and learning a lot of more traditional things out there that have been taught in the magazines. And I just changed, not because I want to be some superstar or anything, I just changed because my back was hurting and I just wanted to stop hurting and I don't want people to hurt as well. So I got into teaching because I know there's so many people out there that are experiencing back pain in the swing and we can alleviate that through these methods that I'm going to show you today. So let's talk about what causes pain in the golf swing. If you're experiencing any pain, pain generally comes from a main source in the golf swing, and that is restriction. Restriction, restriction, restriction. If you're restricting a muscle, if you're causing it to not move, if you're restricting its freedom of motion, you are placing stress on that muscle and or bone area, and repeated stress over time causes soreness, and if it's over a long period of time, pain and you need that surgery, it's not fun. So what I recommend you do is when we're heading towards the direction of a stress-free golf swing, so we're going to get rid of as much restriction as possible. You always have a little bit of restriction because that's how the golf swing works. We don't have enough WD-40 to cover all that, but we're trying to get rid of as much restriction as we can. So here are some tips I would suggest for you to alleviate as much stress as you can in your golf swing. And you'd be surprised, a lot of these are pre-swing related tips. So let's start with your posture. Let's just see how your posture looks. Hold the club out in front of you straight and bend from the waist until the club hits the ground. You should feel nice and relaxed here. Just gently release the legs if they're pressure. Nice and comfortable here. And what you'll notice is my back gently rounds like a fish hook. And that's good. We don't want to stick our butt out all the way. When I stick my butt out, I cause pressure and tension. And when I swing, I cause more tension. Sure, it feels powerful, but good luck telling your back that in a couple years when it's shot. So, I'm in this beautiful posture, very comfortable. And what this is setting me up to do is it's setting up the upper back to be connected and turning around my spine. And if I turn the upper back, I'm golden. We don't want to turn the lower back. The lower back is locked. It's not designed to turn. So if I turn the lower back, I am causing stress in an area that's not designed to turn. So we have to think about that. Don't want the lower back to turn. So as I turn my shoulders, turn the upper spine. So I'm turning the shoulders downward on my spine angle, spine inclination to the ground, enables my upper back to turn, which takes the stress off my lower back and causes the hips to turn properly. If you are turning level, then you are causing the lower body and the lower half to turn, and that's not designed to turn, so you're causing stress. A lot of people turn level, the lower body locks, and then we get all sorts of swing issues and pain. So I don't want you to experience pain. Another thing, in terms of getting some more hip turn, point your feet outward, about 10 degrees. Goofy footed, I like to call it. What this enables you to do is it allows you to free up your hips to turn more than they normally would. And that's good. Who doesn't want free hip turn? You don't have to do everything by the book. I, 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 I can stress that, I can't stress that enough. Free yourself up, you just have to be able to make a swing where you're inclined to the golf ball. So, pointing the feet outward, frees up the swing. Frees up more shoulder turn, more hip turn, more power. We all want more power. All right, next thing, these are in swing, and I want you to pay critical attention to this. So like you may have seen me do, turning the shoulder, inclined to the ball. Well, we need to do that in order for our upper back to turn. If the upper back turns level, the upper back stops turning, lower back and the lower half takes over, causing stress in those areas. So we have to be incredibly focused on making a shoulder turn 
that turns down 90 degrees to my spine. Watch that on TV, you see a lot of pros doing that now. A lot of, a lot of it's one plane-ish rotational swing because it's body friendly and it doesn't require nearly as much hand-eye coordination. And if we can take out some of the complexity of it all, we'll be golden. It's easier, simpler, not easy. Next thing, when you're swinging back, the legs, the body pivot. A lot of people are taught to flex the right leg, keep it locked. Well, if I lock a leg or lock a muscle, I'm going to put more stress on that area, the hip, the knee, and then eventually the lower back as they're all connected together here. So if you are locking this leg, you're restricting hip movement, you're restricting a lot of movement. It's causing me a bit of tension right already in my lower back. I haven't done, even swung through the whole club yet. All it does is lock you in one place. It braces you for impact. Well, we don't want to do that. Instead, allow the lower body to turn. Like this. You have a little bit of space in between your knees here. This right leg straightened. This left leg is pointing down towards the ground. Freer golf swing leads to a lot more ease of motion. At the same time, it's not tough to change because if you free yourself up, it's easier to stay over the golf ball. A lot of swing problems come from trying to restrict yourself. So keep in mind, most golfers I see sway and restrict and everything they're trying to do is what the magazines tell them to do. But they're going against the grain and trying to figure out a nice freedom of motion by friendly swing. If you, if, you, if you do truly rotational swing, I'm centered over the golf ball and I just use the body to square up the club face. And it's a lot easier than having to take the club straight back up, lift the arms, restrict. Restrict, restrict, restrict leads to pain, pain, pain. It will cause pain. I can't stress that enough because I was a victim of golf swing related pain. So these are some basic tips for you. Hopefully I covered enough ground. I've got the knees in there. The knees relate to the flexing of the leg. If you flex the legs in any capacity, you're causing stress on those areas. The hips as well because you're restricting the hip turn. So anytime you restrict, on that area, you'll wear it down. The lower back is also affected. Another consequence, if you turn the shoulders level to the ground, then you're going to cause stress on the lower back because the lower back is not designed to turn. You're going to cause stress on the knees and the hips because as a consequence of level turn, the lower body no longer wants to turn, which causes stress there as well. Turning the upper back and getting a good posture. Don't force your butt out. Keep everything generally relaxed. It's going to be fine. If you got a good posture, you're going to set up for a good golf swing. Turning my shoulders 90 degrees to my spine. Maintain my inclination to the ground. Key for solid golf strikes. You can never go wrong just doing this and allowing for freedom of motion. So I hope these tips help you out in your quest for a body friendly golf swing. That's my goal for you is to experience less pain out there and have more fun, more power with less effort. Trust me, it works. It's just something that I'm very passionate about helping people experience less pain. It's not a matter of getting everything perfect. It's just effortless power instead of powerless effort that causes pain. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf helping you to make the most out of the game you love in a body-friendly and simplistic manner. Have an awesome week. Thank you for watching.